Hello everyone. In this session of CCNA series, I will do a syslog lab in which I will configure the syslog service, generate some events, and then observe the events on the syslog server. And for that, I have a small network in which I have a router connected to a switch. And similarly, I have server and a PC connected to a switch. All these devices are in the same network. So the logs will be generated from the router or the switch and uh, forwarded to the server. So let's go ahead and configure. Uh, before that, let me tell you the IP addresses uh, configured on the router is 192.168.1.1/24, and the syslog server IP is 192.168.1.2. So in the packet tracer, I have already enabled the syslog service. And uh, on my router, let me go ahead and configure the router to send logs to the syslog server. And the I, uh, command is logging along with the IP address 192.168.1.2. This is the command that enables the logging, I mean the sends the logging uh, messages to the syslog server. So once the configuration is done, let me generate some event and I have already configured one loopback in which uh, which is already enabled. So let me shut down the loopback interface and observe if it is reflecting on the syslog server. As you can see, I did disable the interface loopback1 on 11.11 11, so and so time on this date and I received the log message from uh, the router 192.168.1.1 which says loopback1 interface was I mean the interface state was changed if you compare this message 11.11.25 11.11.25 so this confirms that syslog service is working fine we can also in a check it on the router by issuing show logging command this will tell you uh, that it is logging to so and so server with udp port 5 and 5 5 and 4 sorry and how many messages lines have been logged that's it for this session i hope this was informative for you thank you for watching